The switch to solar is happening fast across the country, but in many places it's threatening the very land that feeds us. And our farmers are pushing back. The sun grows our farming communities, but its power for a potential solar development is tearing this one apart. It's just an environmental hazard waiting to unfold. The toll that this is playing on people is horrific. It'll never be the same. John Conroy's family has been farming beef in Victoria's King Valley for four generations. He and wife Jess raising four kids they hope will follow in their footsteps. It's a big family operation. There's five families that, that work here and that are living off the farm. We're very passionate farmers and we enjoy looking after the land. But they fear farm life could change forever after an industrial scale Meadow Creek solar farm was proposed next door. It was a big shock. We've had to approach them to try and get information. We've met with them and you know, they don't listen to us. We're just generational farmers that have lived in the community for decades. Um, but what would we know? If there was to be a solar farm put here, what's your concern? So as intensive farmers, there's a lot of risk of starting fire in what we do on our daily basis. So we have liability coverage for about $20 million. This solar facility is going to be a $750 million build. So if we were to burn them out, we can't cover that. We're up to all hours of the night, so we still farm during the day and raise the children. Then at night, we're putting into a lot of time after hours fighting this. The proposal is expected to generate enough power for around 110,000 homes. But the Conroys believe if the development goes ahead on prime agricultural land, it will pave the way for more solar farms across the region. It would just end up being an industrial zone. And John says there's big money involved. These have been approached by three different solar developers and the lease rates are about four times that of what we could pay for beef production or a dairy farmer could pay for dairy productions. You know, everyone would like net zero, but you have to do it responsibly. We're not against renewables. We actually have a 13 kilowatt solar rooftop system. We're advocating for responsible renewables in suitable locations. Jackie Fogarty knows this fight. A fellow beef farmer, she lives 30 minutes away and now looks out over kilometres of solar panels. There's been four fires on the sites in three years. All but one was sparked by failures in electrical components. It's really scary. Through summer, it would only take it five minutes on a windy day to be here. How has this changed the way you live day to day here? I probably go to town once a fortnight because I'm petrified of leaving the place in summer. It is too late here. We're done. We're, we're finished. We can't do any more. Um, but I pray and hope Meadow Creek can. It's obviously just so stressful for you. It's just... It'll never be the same. It's... I worry about my animals. State guidelines note the development of solar farms should not lead to the loss of productive agricultural land. That's what this site is classed as. The community fears those guidelines won't be enough. They want the government to tighten regulations to ensure quality farmland is protected. We asked them the question, how on earth do you think you're going to get this through? And they just answered with, uh, they are simply guidelines, not regulations. But this farming community is up for the fight. So it's important that you stick together as a community and fight with everything you've got. Gotcha. To put solar panels on such valuable high rainfall land that's suitable for growing crops or, or running intensive grazing systems seems ridiculous to us. And the environment will be changed forever if there's a disaster. Mayor of Wangaratta, Dean Rees, supported the solar development near Jackie's home. Five years down the track, he's had a big change of heart. I regret my decision. Bad decision. Great countryside. Shouldn't have been there. We don't need them here. There is no legislation to make sure that everyone gets a fair deal. Local MP Ricky Lee Tyrrell will reintroduce a bill later this year to regulate solar development. We need to protect our food bowl because we're losing farmers 
at an astronomical rate and we can't afford to do that. A planning application is yet to be submitted by the Meadow Creek Solar Farm. When it comes, the Conroys and their community are ready. It's a great dynasty that we've got. We're food producers and we're going to continue to be. That's our commitment to Australia. The Meadow Creek Solar Farm says the project is being designed to manage potential fire risks and that farm animals will be able to graze around its solar panels. The full statement is on our website.